Hi, I'm Grace from Garland Nursery, and I know it doesn't seem like now is the time to start thinking about fall and winter vegetable gardening, but it actually is. Today we're going to be talking about different crops that you can grow in cooler weather, including ones that you can overwinter to harvest next spring. There are certain ones that do better from seed and certain ones that do better from transplant, and today we'll be covering all of those topics. Fall and winter vegetable gardening is a great idea because it extends your season, so you're not just limited to summer months. There are things that you can plant now that you'll be able to harvest in September, October, November. There are also things that you can plant now that you'll be able to harvest in January, February, and March of next year. So some of the things that you can grow in the fall and winter in the Pacific Northwest are root vegetables. So things like carrots, things like beets, rutabagas, turnips, um, any sort of leafy green generally will, will do well here. Spinach, chard, kale does very well in the cold temperatures as well as lettuce. Any legumes, so mostly peas. There are certain types of beans you can also do including fava beans. And then also coal crops, so things like broccoli, cabbage, um, cauliflower, and then also celery does quite well in the some vegetables even benefit from having a little bit of frost that actually improves their sweetness and flavor. There are certain varieties of vegetables that are going to be more advantageous for you to grow from seed versus from start. Um, something like a cauliflower or a cabbage in which you probably only want one or maybe a couple plants is going to be a lot better to start from a transplant because you already have this much time put into it. You don't have to wait as long and you don't need multiple of them. If you wanted to do something like carrots, it's a good idea to start from seed because it's way more cost effective and the other reason for that is any root vegetable if you get it in a tray pack like this chances are that all of the seedlings are going to be bundled up like that that's just going to crowd the plants and you're going to have to separate those when you plant whereas with the seeds you are able to kind of put them where you like and then go back through and thin them at a very at a smaller stage of growth a good way to do this to not disturb the roots is actually just to trim out the ones you don't want and use those as like a baby green in your salads or in your stir fries. So with things like greens, anything from lettuce to spinach to arugula, um, things that tend to bolt in the heat of the summer, they are grown best in either the fall, throughout the winter, or very early spring. So you can plant lettuce any time of the year. In the really hot summer in August, it's always better to plant it in a shadier location, maybe shaded out by a tomato plant. Um, it's gonna do a lot better. It's not gonna get as bitter and it's not gonna bolt as quickly. So those are really good options for fall and winter vegetable gardening, just because they're gonna have better flavor and they're gonna stick around for a lot longer. Here are some varieties of vegetables that are easily started from seed that you can plant now in your garden. Things like peas come up even through snow. These can be planted year round, but do better in the cooler weather. So now is a perfect time to plant. Make sure you're paying attention to the days to maturity of each of these varieties so that you know when you're going to be harvesting. This is a 57 days, so it'll be ready in just a couple months. Things like Brussels sprouts, cabbage, broccoli. These are all cool crops. So these are all gonna be ready either late, late fall or in the, in the uh, case of the January king cabbage. This is one that you would plant uh, in your garden in about August and you would harvest it next year. So you can see almost 200 days to maturity. Same with the Brussels sprouts and then the broccoli. Things like kale and mustard greens only have about 30 to 50 days, so you'll be able to harvest those before the frost, but they will also go into the frost and things like kale actually taste better with a little bit of frost. Root vegetables such as carrots and radishes also mature fairly quickly and can be overwintered in the ground. They also retain more sweetness in the cooler weather. So depending on the seed, you might want to take a different course of action. Things like peas and carrots and radishes have a quite large of a seed and do very well if you just push them directly into the soil in your raised bed or somewhere outside. Things like kale, mustard, broccoli, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts have a much smaller seed and could easily be lost or overwatered. Um, so it might be a better idea to start these things inside in a seedling tray um, and then transplant them out into your garden later. Just make sure that you're not crowding them. Uh, we have a tendency to plant more seeds because you know, you're not sure what the germination is gonna be. But once you see that more than one is coming up, just go through and trim those out and space them accordingly. 
So with plants that are a little bit more slow growing and take some more time to reach their full maturity, it's probably a better idea that you start from a transplant and not from a seedling. Something like a cabbage, it's gonna take roughly 80 to 90 days to mature. If you buy this start, it already has roughly about 20 to 30 days of grow time. That's gonna cut down on the time it takes from the time you plant this to when you can harvest it. It's gonna give you a head start. And so a good idea is if you take, you know, a start and then you also start some seeds. So you can kind of stagger the harvest time. You'll get, you'll, so you'll be able to harvest this one in just a couple months and then you'll be able to harvest the seedlings a couple months after that. Thank you for all of you who's tuned in to watch our fall and winter vegetable gardening videos. We have a great selection of vegetable starts right now and starting today through Sunday, July 12th, they will be 20% off if you use the code FIRSTFROST at checkout. Thank you for watching.